Welcome to the Wi-Fi Pineapple tutorial series. In this video, we're going to review the module called Papers. Essentially, this is going to allow you to add HTTPS to your websites. So we're taking a look at the module called Papers and what this allows you to do is to generate multiple certificates. Now these certificates could either be deployed directly to your pineapple or they could certainly be downloaded and deployed on some other web server. First, of course, you need to make sure that you have the dependencies installed. Now, the certificate store is going to manage all of the certificates that you generate under this module, and they'll be available to be seen both here, you can download them with this icon, as well as they'll be deployed on the pineapple itself as far as the storing location, and that is at this particular directory location. Now, how we go about building our certificates is we just use this form here. We can specify the key type that we want, the size of the bits. We give our public and private key pair a name, the number of days valid, and of course, the algorithm we want to use. We can also provide additional information here. We're going to go ahead and build one together just to see how it works. So I'm going to just call this test cert and just fill out a couple of items here. Now the encrypting of the private key is something that should definitely be done when you go to deploy this to another web server. It is not recommended with the pineapple, however, because it could leave the pineapple in a hanging mode as it's waiting for you to type in the password. I'm going to leave that unchecked for now. So when you're ready, just go ahead and click this build keys. And then you will see the new certificate that is now available in the key store. So what that means is if I go to that location that I referenced earlier, pineapple modules, papers, includes SSL, and I do an LS dash AL, you will see the certificate in its various formats has been deployed there. You'll also notice that I have the my certificate. Now, this is actually in two places because not only is it in the key store, but the my certificate I have actually deployed to the Nginx to be served through the Nginx over a couple of different ports. So if I change my directory to Etsy Nginx SSL, I can see that it has actually been deployed to serve my Nginx web server. Now, I did make a change to the virtual host file. You can take a look at that here. Now, first, let me explain. There is a method to my madness here. What you'll see are multiple copies of the Nginx config. And I do this because sometimes I get myself into a jam and I can't figure out how to get back to the original working copy. And so because of that, I basically end up making copies of the original and then copies of my changes. So force of habit. But if we take a look at the particular virtual host file that's being used right now, which is just this nginx.conf, what you'll see is I've made an addition in there. If you search for SSL, it'll take you right to the ports that are serving SSL. And so what I did is I added this port 443 and I have it serving over my root directory. Now, this is something I had to do manually. The module doesn't actually do this for you that I know of. 
What the module does do for you is when you deploy to the Nginx, what it will do is it will add this SSL to your port 1471. So the 1471, of course, is your management port. And so everything that you do then over the management port will be over HTTPS. And what you'll notice is there's a certificate here and there's a certificate key file here that's being referenced. What I did is I used exactly the same files for my port 443. So if you come up here, you can see that I'm referencing the same certificates. Now, I also kept intact the listening of the unencrypted port, which is port 80. All right, and I just did that just, just to kind of see the differences. So that automatic deployment of the MyCert to that port 1471 was done by the clicking of this button. And once you click the button, you're going to not only see those two files up here being shown, but also your browser is going to be redirected over HTTPS. Now, it says that it's not secure. That is basically because it's a self-signed certificate. Now, the reason why I showed you that I made that additional entry into the virtual host file is because I wanted to serve my fake website over HTTPS. So if you take a look at it now, you can see that this page that I'm using for my landing page, it's now running over HTTPS. Now, if you want to revert your pineapple back to its original state where it was not running over HTTPS, what you'll do is you're going to first remove the SSL. Now, once that's complete, you will be prompted that you're going to be redirected back over the HTTP version of the page. Now, the issue that I had with this is, as I mentioned, I still have that 443 referenced. So I need to actually go at command line and revert back my config to the version that is the working state for this, where it has no SSL at all. And how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to do a copy of this version and copy it into the standard config. Then you have to restart Nginx. Hopefully you don't get an error and then you should be able to go back and see your console. And so once I refresh my browser, you can see that everything is happy, happy again. I'm running over HTTP. I hope that this was helpful to you in getting this really nice module working for you in the configuration that you desire.